This is N2Way PB, George, and uh, I am demonstrating the old friend HF transceiver designed by K1SWL and being put out by yours truly, Midnight Design Solutions. And it's a nice uh, uh, QRP transceiver, handheld uh, type of uh, design here, nice for trail and uh, desk type of service. Nice enclosure, pre-cut uh, pre enclosure, fits, uh, fits a lot of uh, the connectors that uh, we have on the bench. Uh, nice bright um, display for both daylight operation, of course, and, and night. Many nice new features that we're going to show you during this demonstration. Um, we're going to plug it in right now, just really nice and easy. Um, obvious uh, accoutrements, which is uh, the key, which is headphones, which I'm just going to use an amplified speaker here, the antenna, and a uh, battery. See how it powers up to 7030, a nice QRP frequency. This unit happens to be built on um, for 40 meters. <laughs> And uh, it's a monoband uh, transceiver, and it comes in uh, either um, 80 meters, 40 meters, 30 meters, or 20 meters, and you build it for what you uh, what you order. And this is a, a unique unique design in that it is double sideband, just like the old days when we had our uh, first. Uh, CW transceivers uh, back in uh, the novice days, for example, our transceivers were double sideband. We heard both of the sidebands. In other words, when we're tuning, we heard both the upper sideband and, and the lower sideband. There's the other sideband. I'm going to go to the other sideband again. And you might say, well, that's kind of confusing. Well, not really, because if you know what you're listening to, it's easy to tune through it. With these transceivers, what you do is tune down. In other words, if I'm to tune this frequency, as you'll see in a minute, and I wanted to get this guy and get in contact with him, I would tune down. I would tune such that when I'm tuning him in, I'm tuning him, and when his signal is going down in frequency, not only will his signal be really, uh, it's, it's lowering in tone, but you'll hear the resonance really peak. Right about there. So when I contact him, you'll be, uh, you'll be sure to get him on the right, uh, the right frequency, as you'll see in just a moment. So stand by as we switch gears here. Okay, now I'm going to go over and uh, try a different frequency. Let me use the preset feature to go to the next preset frequency of... I'll go down to the low band, low part of the band, 70... Oh, 04. I must have tapped the dial there, so down at the low end of the band. Let me tune just to see, or actually go into tune mode to see if I have some good power. Okay, power. I'm going to tune, first of all, so long press. I'll go up there and look at my, my power meter. You can't see it too well. Let's go zoom in in that a little bit better. I'm going to tune a little bit more. You can see I've got, well, probably about six watts. And that was the tune mode of the old friend. Just by holding, let me identify. Let me tune again. It stops tuning after a few seconds, and uh, 
if I wanted to go to different frequency yet, I would tap it again. Oops, wrong button. I would tap it again. It goes back up to, in this case here, let's look to take a closer look. 7030, tap it again, another preset. Go up to 7060. Up to the old novice frequency, 70 or 7120. Tap it again, go back to where I was just tuning, which is 7005. And once again, go back to this to the uh, POTA or the QRP frequencies. So um, that's that frequency. Uh, you saw me tune the, um, the speed before during the QSO. Just uh, tap this and I can tune to my heart's content there and wait for just a two second timeout. Now I can, well, I don't want to tune or transmit over somebody else. Let me go back down to the low. Let me go back down to the low frequency. 7005. And you can see, listen to the uh, low frequency, or low uh, tuning rate. Shoot, the low speed. That I had. I can go higher by tapping that and go up to the maximum rate. It's far faster than I can go, but that's it. Now let me go back to something normal. For me, anyways, a normal QSO is about 22. Let me set this up and so I can identify. And by the way, notice the, uh, the marvelous, marvelous job that K1SWL did with the iambic B keying. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, it is so good. You can tell it's iambic B because of the dot insertion. I'll hold the dot, uh, the dash down, and it automatically uh, inserts the dots when I press it. So I'll hold the dash down. Same too if I reverse that. That is the characteristic of iambic B. Uh, Feature-wise, I think that's it. Five watts. Uh, Function, I think I, we got it there. So that is the old friend in action. Again, this is N2APB demonstrating the old friend, the, um, the new QRP transceiver from K1SWL and Midnight Design Solutions.